Yo, what's going on guys? Chakra here and welcome to a replay commentary of Slark. So, the reason I picked Slark is... Okay, the Sven over there, he told me that he's gonna go top lane, which is kind of weird, but okay, so I had to carry, so I thought why not pick Slark. Checking for the rune over there. I saw a bounty there, so definitely the rune's gonna go. But bounty is there, that means he also kept a ward over here. It's in the bag. I think. The battle begins. Still, I tried to take the rune, but bounty was fast Beautiful. enough. He took the rune. Okay. So when you see this, the Sven actually Point comes bot. He told me that he's gonna go top lane and now he's gonna come bot for... I don't know. He's crazy or something? So I had to change all of a sudden from a carry build to a off laner. Yeah, that was a pain in the ass, but... Okay, if that's how it's gonna be, then let it be. So when I see off lane, there are already two heroes, a Drow and the Lich, so... If I go off lane, that would be try lane off lane, which is not really good, so... There's actually nothing I could do, so... I just had to stay in the safe lane, and Sven also comes there. So, yeah. I tried to give as much farm as I could give to Sven, and I took like one or two last hits out of it. I gave most of the last hits to Sven. Sven's trying to pull, but he failed terribly. Fins off. Missing top. And then Sven was like asking me to go to top lane. But there are already two people, dude. I can't go to top lane again. It will make it a try lane. Radiance middle tower is under attack. And I see Leech coming to the bot lane, so I need to go to top lane because there's only one hero and Give it up I don't think he can handle solo top so I had to go top so right after finishing this creep wave I went to top yeah yeah stop pinging I'm going Haste. so I'm here with a draw And these guys staying in the off lane didn't even bother to get a ward, like here. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. under attack Get over it. there comes a gank punch gank does but he doesn't even have boots he can't do anything over there I actually thought draw was dead there but draw TP that's good The reason I got a uh, Orb of Venom and a Blightstone, I recently found out that Orb of Venom and Blightstone actually stacks. Though they are unique modifiers, 
they still stack I don't know why so why not I got myself a healing cell because I'm really low at HP Put it out of your mind If there was a ward right here, uh, oh by the way, that's enemy. If, the, if we had a ward over there, we could have spotted the pudge and we could have evaded the gank. I was actually playing really safe because we actually don't have any vision over there. Maybe if I put it in player perspective, uh, slur, slur, player. Okay, there. There's no vision over here, so that's the reason I was playing really safe. And I got a ward. I was doing the support job. Not really a support job, any man can do it, so I did it. So we see a peer over there trying to jump. Uh, well, that was unfortunate. I don't want to take any more damage till I get to level 6 because when I once I get to level 6 I will have infinite regen like every time with full health so till then I should maintain my health so yeah they even have a sentry wait is that a sentry board over there yeah they have a sentry board over there Maybe Radiance they're Middle scared Tower of Shadowfin, but Shadowfin doesn't even have a Shadow Blade. I don't know why they have a sentry over there. Fresh mate. Oh, maybe they Dyer's thought that we Tower have a sentry over there to counter bounty, so they had a sentry. That makes sense. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Just to scare the PA off so that we could have more last hits as the uh, silencer is nowhere near. Again, since we have a ward over, they, they actually dewarded. They dewarded our ward. That's the reason we didn't spot the punch. He hooked me again. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And yeah, PA can't harass me with daggers anymore because I always have region. So I'm good. Uh, there was a disconnect from Silencer, so we paused it. I'll be back right after the game is resumed. All right, the game is resumed. So he is farming, and where did I go? I was farming as well. Remember, I had the region, so I don't need to worry about anything. But uh, I went to the base because I don't have any more mana. These guys are actually warding really good. This is yeah, this is a high skill game, guys. So people ward. I think our drow died here. No, 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 not here. I went back to the lane and. Yeah, PA wasn't there, so I was like free farming.
PA is back again. Okay, I saw the bounty over there, so I was going back. Because if he tracks me, my region stops. The region. And if I want to kill bounty, I need a dust, but none of our teammates have dust. Even the support doesn't have dust. I was actually baiting them. If they see there's only drought, they might jump in and I could kill one of them, but they didn't fall for the bait. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. The good, th good thing about Slark is he can take out all the creeps in in a wave, just like that. It's really easy to Dyer's farm with Slark. Tower is under attack. <laughs> okay, in the early game, if uh, if the team is taking together, that makes the attack. carry Radiant inefficient. Like the carry fortified. can't farm and Dyer's top tower they is under attack. technically fall into a disadvantage. Though it's for the tower, it's not worth it. Dyer's the carry should be farming till the mid game. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. They actually got the mid tower, but if you see the XPM, Radiant's middle I'm really tower high and PA is below me. That's because I was farming and PA was sticking together with the team. It might not be a big thing right now, but. In the large scale, it really affects the game a lot. See, this is this is something you need to avoid. You're supposed to farm alone so that you get more XP. Because when there are two people, the other guy is always draining the experience from from the creep wave. Radiance top like, tower is I'm under always attack. solo farming. Actually, we should have a Radiance another support instead of Drow because we already have a Swam, already have a Dyer's Shadow Queen and a Slark, attack. which needs a crap ton of farm. When there's a Drow again, she also needs farm. So, so what actually happened in the late game is uh, Drow took all the farm from the camp, so we literally have no farm to I can't no way to, to farm. <laughs> That's a good kill over there. Another shackle dragon. <laughs> Even this shadow fiend is farming alone, so he's pretty high in level, like level 11. The whole game, these guys were only looking for ganks. They are not farming. So that's their. That's their minus point. Yeah, this patch is just roaming around for looking for kills. There there is a ward over here, so they spotted Shadow Pin. Yeah. <laughs> They're only really good R support, never wards, never carries dust. I don't know why did why did he even pick support in a high skill game? Yeah, there are some retards even in high skill game. That's normal. I was trying to bait the budge and kill him but yeah, the silencer was in time. Better swim for it. That's when could have done a bit earlier and I could have survived. Like if you guys see this. Uh bit over there. Oh 
Okay, I was here. And we see the Pudge over there. There is a sentry, I mean observable. And the bound... Oh wait, I didn't even see the PA over there. Crap. Okay, I was silenced. Sven was silenced and the silence was gone. Now the Sven could have stunned him and I could have survived. I could have used my ult and I could have done a lot of damage. And maybe we could have won the team fight. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance top That's when being really uh how do I say this? He's not paying attention so that made our team to lose the team fight. Ah, These guys are still warding like crazy. So at that point, I realized Sven was useless. I need to be the carry for the whole game. So I tried to farm as much as I could. But at the late game, I had to change my decision. You'll see why. I mean these guys are pretty good for high skill players because they ward really good. Silencer is buying wards like every two minutes. Sentries and observer. I mean you barely see people buying wards in high skill guys. If it's a very high skill, okay that's acceptable but high skill you don't really see people like this. There's a there's a really hard game. I mean for a high skill, high skill level. Drow's dead. Drow was farming in enemy's jungle, where there's a bounty, roaming bounty hunter. Uh, D ward. Okay, Lich didn't put a sentry over there. It was an absorb ward. Good. The reason why I bought a uh, face boots instead of a uh, power threads because it's the same concept as I told you guys in my previous video. It makes me move faster and it does almost the same damage as power threads. And if if I was in the safe lane instead of in the off lane, I could have got my shadow blade like at 12 minutes. That would have made me gank a lot earlier, start my ganking at lot, a lot earlier than I did at this game. Which potentially gives me a lot of experience and a lot of kills. Uh, what's actually happening here? Is that Sven? Yeah, it's probably Sven. Sven could have stacked this like the whole game, he didn't even stack at all. That's the reason he's really low level. Like even in the mid game he should be like really strong by stacking these camps and getting all the farm. But for some reason he didn't stack it. Okay, here we got a kill on Bounty. Bottom tower is under attack. Uh, region up there. And got the life filler out and I used my ult at the right time I survived there. Shadow Fiend is farming really good. He's level 15 for... 22 minutes okay for this game we are not sub we shouldn't be looking at the farm per I mean looking at the XP per minute we should be comparing with ourselves like we are at level 11 and he's at level 15 he's actually the highest level of all the heroes in the game so that's pretty good Again, if we had a ward somewhere in our jungle, we could have spotted the lifestealer and killed him. Because people are not supposed to farm in enemy jungle. Okay, he's pretty dead. Lifestealer is too tanky, I can't take him. At least if Sven has a Sven has his ult on, 
on cooldown, like off cooldown, I could have helped them. That's a death trap. You could have, yeah. I don't remember if I killed this PA. How did he? Oh, there's a sentry ward over there. Yeah, I think I killed the PA over there. Yeah, I did. Have failed the veil. Radiance top tower is under attack. Look at the wards, guys. There's there's like wards everywhere in the map. Again, there's a ward. There's a ward. There is a ward. Oh, that's our ward. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's Since Lich uh, took down the ward right here in front of Dyer's the silencer, they know that we have wards denied. here. I picked up Badass so that I I could kill Bounty Hunter, but this sentry over here showed him, gave him the vision of my, of me. So if you guys see in the in the heroes levels and stuff, you see level 10, level 11, and level 11, level 11. But Shadowfin is the only one level 17. So what I thought is if it would okay, basically what I what I'm trying to say is if I can somehow kill someone and still be alive, that would make a huge advantage for us. So that's what I'm trying to do. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. That's a kill. Come out. So it's only three people alive. We could even push now, but our creeps are not far enough, so. That P actually jumped in way weird spot. That P should die right there. Should uh, yeah. I couldn't have done anything over there. Yeah, our shadow pin is pretty high level, so he can clean up all that stuff. Ah, that's a dead, dead shadow pin. I went back to farming again. I saw someone over there, it's a Pudge. We could kill the Pudge, so... Gotcha. He was trying to dismember me. I was quick enough and used my ult. There you go. That's a kill. I think I jumped on the bounty hunter there. You're yeah. Bound. And did I survive? No, 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 I died here. You're I was just trying to reduce enemy team's uh, players so that when we limit. clash again, it would be a 5v4 instead of 5v5. Sven is also dead there. That was something like a suicide mission. Sven shouldn't have came in like 
it was me trying to kill someone from one team I mean someone from their team if I die I die if I kill I kill that's how it's supposed to be I actually thought to get a MKB so that I can actually fight PA because I lost hopes on the Sven and our Shadow Fin got a Divine he's way far ahead than me right now if you see the levels Shadow Fin is the highest level and the next highest would be me and our Sven is nowhere near so yeah so if it is a 4v5 we definitely have an advantage so my mission is to kill someone and still be alive so that's what I'm trying to do now a bit of farming and I think I tried to kill the silencer over there did I? yeah there is a sentry and he was ready for that out and there is nothing literally he could do there I use my silver edge there so yeah they could do nothing so now it's only four people we could actually our drum is also dead so we can't actually push because it's still 4v4 draw actually died like a lot of times maybe if draw helped us with the ganks instead of farming all the time that would have helped a lot because I could have like have many camps to farm and I could be in a bit higher level yeah that would have been a really good thing but yeah draw farmed the whole time and died a lot of times so it was like no use why do you hook me patch there's nothing you can do I have my ultimate no patch you can't hook me the second time And yeah, Drav is still farming. Ought to take care of this fin, right? So if I can at least kill one guy and we can push like five people sticking together we can push if I can kill one guy. Okay again Drav is dead, so even if I kill one guy, it's still 4v4. So you guys get the idea. The basic idea is to make it 5v4. So still waiting for the drought to respawn. Oh yeah, I actually... I almost killed the bounty hunter, but that freaking punch saved him. Drow is still farming. We are we are actually waiting for the drow to take so that we can push. But yeah, stuff happened. Dyer's middle tower is under I attack. Sealed. Shadowfin was like calling drow. We are supposed to stay and stuff. He was like messaging, spamming his messages. Finally drive us here, so now we can push. So what actually happened here is, Pudge used his uh, four sap and pull me in. So they definitely can't kill me. So I I went in, but what I realized is, if I somehow go really in. Our shadow fin can actually destroy the tower, so I sacrificed Dyer's myself and we got the tower. That's kind of worth because we can we can go into the high ground without any problem. And shadow fin has a divine. Dyer's middle and yeah. Triple kill. 
Okay, we actually team wide. And I was like pinging on the Sven. Please take the divine. Someone would. Someone would take it. And the Sven is like, no, I don't need the divine. Nope. And there you go, the PA took the divine. And there's something really funny happened. Shadow Fiend TP'd in and he killed the PA. Character and got the divine back. Assassin. Like what the crap is. It's, it's high skill. There's nothing even close to high skill. Oh my god. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. So that's pretty much it. We end the game right there. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Took a while, but it was fun. Dyer's ancient is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's ancient is under attack. Radiant yep. GG.